Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a floral collaboration with Madly Manicured. I've started off with Peel Ease as my base coat from IMK and here is a complete salon manicure polish called Cancer Moon. I've already got my base coat on and dry and I'm going to go in with a coat of a Cancer Moon and it's just kind of like a tan with some glitter in it. You know, like gold glitter. I don't know. The gold glitter is like really predominant, so you know, but it's there. We're going to do a second coat. I love, love, love the brushes on these Complete Salon Manicure polishes. They just make painting so easy. There we go. I'm going to top it with some Posh Top Coat and get it to dry down. All nice and smooth. Cause we're going to do some flowers today. Uh, my friend Drew from Madly Manicured got in touch with me and asked me if I'd like to do one, you know, like a collab. I was like, oh yeah. So I'll be using this Beauty Big Bang plate number 10 and the Born Pretty Green polish. It's just not named or numbered or anything. And a ton of those AliExpress stampers and my clear jelly scraper. Love, love, love these plates, you guys know. So I'm picking this image up um, and putting it on all of those stampers. I did five of them. Um, and we're going to use Bumpy Road Ahead and Hate to Burst Your Bubble, as well as OPI Pops and Pop Star, as well as Days of Pop and pink bubbly to fill this in. I'm just going to do different colored flowers on each of the um, decals that I'm making. I'm just, you know, mixing and matching and, you know, just willy-nilly, willy-nilly on it. Um, I just decided today I just needed to do some reverse stamping and I'd had a request a while back from a friend that wanted me to use these polishes and some reverse stamping, but she wants me to use a different plate. So I'm gonna still leave that on my request page. Um, but I really did like the idea of using these from the pop culture collection to fill in this decal. I just figured that would be, the colors would be just perfect for it. All these different flowers. Um, all of these polishes that I'm using uh, to fill in these are um, polishes that Miss Debbie sent me for Christmas except for the yellow that was the only one she said she couldn't find so I did go out and hunt that rascal down and bought it and I'm so happy I did flipping it over to make sure that it's doing good I filled it in good enough look how pretty that yellow is <laughs> now these were those polishes that were kind of funky textured and y'all remember I like funky so um, I was really pleased with them. Uh, I was kind of concerned that these might be too thick for decals, but they turned out to do just fine. And I am just going to show y'all me making one decal. I did them all the same way. Um, I didn't want this video to be forever long. So I will have a link for Drew's channel down below, Madly Manicured, and I would love and appreciate it if you would go check out her video. She's just such a sweetheart. Invite me to play. I love it. So I'm going to use the Pro FX Quick Dry and run over the decals. I've already done it once. I'm going to do two coats because I just want to make sure when I transfer this that those leaves also transfer. I'll be using the Pro FX Sticky Base. I'm going to do one nail at a time. And I, I plop it on, I kind of blow on it for a second or two, and then I start putting on my decal. My decal. I just want it to kind of stick. I wasn't expecting it to stick perfectly. These are starting to get just a little crunchy. Um, so I'm going to try to go in with the cuticle tool and break some of this up. Um, the crunchiness of this is... Um, of this decal is making this technique a little difficult. So this is the only nail that I actually do this on. You will see me give up here in just a little bit and I will be breaking out my little scissors. 
it's just um, I guess in the time that it took me to make five decals and fill them in um, and do the top coat and everything I think it was just a little too long sitting um, I do prefer more flexible um, reverse de or reverse stamping decals but you know you gotta work with what you get so I did break out my little scissors oh you will see me do that here in a moment um, another nail but now I'm gonna go in with my acetone and my cleanup brush and just start trying to clean up just a little bit actually just a lot <laughs> get all that excess hanging off of it now on the ends I like to do the tap method tap 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 right along the edge of my nail and back to some more cleaning so there we go starting to look pretty good though I do really really like floral prints so I was pretty excited about the theme for this collaboration as you can see I'm doing some tap 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 in tap tap still got a piece down here that's wanting to stick so I'm trying to get up under that nail a little bit get that thing to act right looking pretty good Go just a little bit more now Drew does a lot of um, freehand uh, like you know using uh, toothpicks and brushes and things like that so um, I'm interested to see what her manicure ends up, you know, being. I'm excited. So I'm going to top this with some posh top coat before I move on. I am going to do a couple of nails off camera just to keep this video from being like, you know, terribly long. Plus, you know, if you've seen me do it once or twice, you've seen it. You know what I'm doing. I'm doing the same on all of them. Hi, Woody. How you doing? Nice of you to visit. So there we go first one done and here we go we're gonna apply the Pro FX sticky base to the pinky nail and I'm going to apply with the stamper that decal that I have made using my fingers I'm just going around and trying to push it down mush it down make it stick to that nail sorry <laughs> And now I'm going to break out my little pinchy scissors and trim as much as I can off. I'm not real graceful with this on camera. I'll be honest, I'm not graceful with it, period. But, uh, um, you know, I, I, I try to get as close as I can and then I just, you know, I have to go in with my other methods of cleanup because I don't want to, I don't want to cut too much off or actually cut my nail, which I have done before. So I'm going in with my cleanup brush and my acetone, and I'm kind of doing like a push down, brush away kind of method on this one. When you guys do these, you'll find what works for you, what you feel most comfortable with. Um, and I don't do it the same way every time. It always depends on my mood and how, how the decal is behaving. And like I said, these were a little crunchy. They weren't real crunchy, but they weren't very pliable. So, I'm trying to be very careful with it. Totally into it, though. The manicure, it was a lot of work. I'm not going to, I can't even tell y'all how long this one took. But, um, it was a lot of fun. So, there you have it. <laughs> Love, love, love it. And you can see that glossy top coat on that little ring fingernail sticking in there. Ugh. So here we go. We're going to apply the posh top coat to this one. And we're going to call this one successful. I really do love it. But I would love to hear what you think about it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Don't forget to go check out Madly Manicured check out my friend Drew. She's just a sweetheart and I would love for you to go to her channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.